The Atlantic Ocean is on the brink of what could potentially be one of the biggest disasters, and most people aren't even aware of it. All of this thanks to one fish, the lionfish, an invasive predator species that was actually thrown into Atlantic waters by pet owners decades ago. Now it's up to teams like those here in Bermuda to take matters into their own hands. The lionfish invasion into the Atlantic is most likely the worst environmental disaster that the Atlantic will ever face. Bermuda got lionfish from 2000. From 2000 to 2013, they have spread their way from Bermuda all the way out through the Caribbean. We had no idea they could spread so fast. It even caught the top scientists yep. off guard. And there are no predators except human beings. All of these fish in the Atlantic, from what they can tell from the DNA, only came from six to eight females. It was from pet owners released, a pet shop got wiped out, maybe let a few go, but really it was a combined effort of just human beings just being irresponsible. So that's another problem. These are almost the perfect predator. Venomous, ferocious appetite, big mouth, it can eat almost any, uh, up to three quarters of its size. So this fish can eat a fish that big. We know that the fish in the Pacific, where their native range comes from, are DNA coded for millions of years of evolution. They know to stay away from the lionfish. Instinctively, they're born with that instinct. If you go near the lionfish, you're gonna get eaten. Our fish have never seen a lionfish, so they swim right up to them. They don't re recognize them as an enemy. Therefore, that's why they're eating so well, and that's how they're doing so great. Which their stomachs are becoming so full, sometimes up to 30 fish, that they're actually gaining liver disease. See, now that, Katie, is a great example there. Look at the size of that liver there. See that? That's easily five times bigger than it should be. So the crazy part about the lionfish is they're actually populating 30 to 40,000 eggs every four to five days. And here is a perfect example. This is actually a mass of eggs in a female fish. And as you can see here, it's pretty big. What we're using is new technology and older existing technology to try and fight this. One of the things, rebreathers have been around for quite a while now. It's a wonderful tool for us to be able to dive deep safely. Tools are also being invented. The zookeeper, nobody ever heard of the zookeeper five years ago. A guy down in Curacao invented this. There's killing lots of lionfish. How do you then contain the lionfish safely? So he created this plastic tube. It's very simple with a funnel at the end. The fish goes in and when you pull the spear out, the fish stays behind. One of the big problems we have with technical diving is we have a lot of stuff with us. Very hard to swim any great distances. So we were blessed enough to get some Magnus scooters donated to us so that we can actually search the bottom for these lionfish hotspots. We're using GoPros. We're also using a camera that's made by Sartec, and they donated some of this equipment to us uh, to try out for this experiment. They're using us as a testing ground. When we know of a location, we have the GPS coordinate, we'll drop a descent line, which is a heavy weight that drops down with a rope on it with a buoy in the top. We have all our tech gear on. We'll go right down to 200 feet. We are limited in the time that we can spend there usually about 25 to 30 minutes because of the fact that we're building up more and more nitrogen in our systems. During that time, we are trying to do as much data collecting as possible. We leave no lionfish behind. We try to kick every single one that we can. We are videotaping, so therefore the scientists can go back through that videotape later on and look at it at their own leisure and be able to stop and freeze frame it and look at the different things that are going on down there. We're trying to observe different behavior. We're also trying to see what other species of fish are living with these lionfish. We're doing fish counts down there to see what the populations are. After spending a day in the waters with Graham and his team, I got to see the problem firsthand. Yep. So it just came back with the first batch of lionfish, obviously a very substantial kill. And it's just fascinating. They've only been down there for about 25 minutes and Got a ton. Today's dive wasn't a typical hot spot, uh, but there were a large amount of uh, juvenile fish, and then so therefore automatically there are large amounts of lionfish. Sometimes you just run out of time. Lionfish are destroying ecosystems, and they're doing it very quickly. And this isn't a battle that we can win. We only hope to be able to maintain their populations, and Mother Nature's not going to come up with a wonderful cure-all for everything. This is something that we have to take responsibility.